Hey guys, and welcome back to another Cone Nexiles video. Today we are in the northern grassland area between New Asgarth and Chaos Mouth, building a Yamatai base. This build was suggested by a few different people, and there has generally been a lot of interest in Yamatai builds, so of course we're going to get this one done today. This build is designed to be a small base for a clan, able to hold about 8 people comfortably, though you could adjust the bedrooms to fit less people, thus opening up more room for storage or workstations etc, kind of whatever you want. The design of this build is built around a central courtyard area, which will help to break up the monotony of what would otherwise be a box-like structure. Of course this build will be using pieces almost exclusively from the Seekers of the Dawn DLC pack. Yamatai can be very difficult to build with, as keeping the grain and pattern of the floor consistent is a bit of a pain due to the actual visibility of the grain in the foundations. Therefore you will see an arrow on almost all of the pieces I place down this video, which is a feature of the less building placement restrictions mod. I know a few people have asked about this so I thought I'd explain it here. This isn't necessary at all and this build won't feature any other mods, it's just for my own ease of placing things down and keeping my OCD, you know, satisfied. So if you own the Seekers of the Dawn DLC, you'll still be able to replicate this structure exactly as you wish. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly of course we're going to start with the base plate. I'm using these foundations to map out exactly where I want the interior courtyard to sit, building wings around it. The idea is to have a larger front and back area, with the wings being a little bit more narrow but wide enough to hold workstations and bedrooms on their respective sides. Each of these narrow sections will have a walkway between the front and back of the build, allowing easy passage from one side to the other, whilst also allowing access to the facilities on the wings. The courtyard itself will also have access to the front and back of the build, but in general it's just best to have multiple avenues of access for a build like this. Next for the walls. I built the walls two tiles high across the entire build, using windows towards the entrance fairly liberally and then cutting down on their usage throughout the rest of the build. It was at this point I built the walkways on either wing, which will be raised one tile above the foundations. This is really really easy to build, using ceilings atop the first wall tile across the wing, and then connecting it to the bottom of each side with stairs. I also used walls to mark out the bedrooms on the southern wing, which would be 2x2 two two each, holding 2 beds each. In total I marked out 4 bedrooms, holding a total of 8 people.
Regarding the walkways, I decided to experiment a little with door frames and ended up working out a very nice design for windows. I placed doorways across the courtyard facing side of each walkway, then using fences to cover part of the doorway creating a more open window design, similar to the design I've used before with modded pieces from different mods such as Immerse RP. I didn't actually know you could do this at first with vanilla pieces so it was a pleasant surprise that works really well for this build. Finally when the walls were done, I covered the entire build with ceilings atop the walls which I would later use to place a roof atop. At first I wasn't sure about placing awnings around the build, but it wouldn't really be a Yamatai build without that iconic structural design. The last time I did this with foundations, which was a good few months ago, I was informed by somebody in my comments that you could create inside corner awnings by clipping two straight awnings together at opposing angles. This was definitely correct when it was suggested to me, because I did try it out and it did work and it, it looked quite good. However, it doesn't seem to work now. This is probably down to a patch a while ago that disabled illegal collision with multiple pieces on a single tile, therefore it just does not work anymore. Just another reason why each set of awnings need an inverted corner piece. For now though, I decided to use regular corner awning pieces to fill the gap in the inner corners. Next for the roof. This is fairly straightforward, creating a standard and easy to build roof above the base. I used the appropriate roof pieces to build as close to an apex as I could, having to use rooftop pieces to finish off the roof. However, instead of using regular rooftop pieces and wall caps as I've done many times in the past, I instead used rooftop end pieces instead of wall caps to keep the flow of the roof consistent. On the larger sections of the build to the east and west, I had to use some rooftop junctions to keep the flow consistent again, but overall this is a really simple and really easy roof structure to build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build from the east, the Yamatai style immediately stands out in the grassland environment. Entering the build, the lobby area has some small storage on the south side and some decorative pillars with walkway access on either side of the build and the courtyard through the western doorways. 
The entire build is lit with bracketed wall torches. Heading down the southern walkway, this area looks over the courtyard and gives access to the bedrooms, which also themselves have windows looking out over the courtyard. Heading back down the walkway to the back room, this is the dining area. This area holds a large table, along with a chef thrall in the back preparing food. Heading down the northern walkway, this allows access to the workshop area, where many different thralls can work to produce various items for the clan, from weapons and armour to potions, resources and more. Finally, the courtyard itself. This area is decorated with a couple of different statues, including a fountain statue of guidance, which really suits this sort of build. Each corner next to the stairs has plants decorating the area, making the courtyard feel a little bit more alive and keeping the connection to nature. And there we have it, a Yamatai base in the northern grasslands, between New Asgarth and Chaosmouth. Thanks for watching, and thanks to the various people that suggested this build. There are about 5 or 6 people asking for something like this, so hopefully you can all find something you like about this build. I know I've really enjoyed building it. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, and don't forget to leave a comment with any future build suggestions in the comments below. I am always open to any suggestions. Don't forget to join the fun on our Discord through the link in the description, and if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is in the description also, with various rewards from special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos before anybody else, and your name at the end of each video. Speaking of which, a big thanks to our patrons, Sammy, Doomshade and Dawnfox. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to check out the content here, with more Conan Exiles content coming every Wednesday and Sunday. If you like what you see, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.